Hi guys and welcome to 97 Projects. This is the quarantine DIY series. Today's project is four projects, one paint bot. Not to be confused with any other videos on the internet. I managed to get four projects done out of this one pot of paint. The pot of paint was £17.95 from French Eek. First victim is the garage door. So the first thing I did was I sanded down the door just to try and make sure that it was a nice smooth surface to paint over. The last thing I wanted was to see any of those lumps and bumps coming through once I had it painted. So the next thing I did is I washed down the door just with a little bit of uh, sugar soap and water just to make sure that there was no dust or uh, dirt on there. didn't want that getting into my paint brushes or creating a grainy effect underneath the paint after I'd spent so long sanding it. Next thing I did was to mask and tape all of the hinges and handles on the door because I wanted to paint those black later on once the paint had arrived. As you can see Obi's having a good sniff around making sure I'm getting all the, all the parts covered. The paint I'm going to be using is a brand called Frenchique. Now this paint is the Alfresco range, which can be indoors or outdoor paint. Um, this colour is called Swanky Pants. After painting the door, I actually read online that you should go in with thinner layers, so maybe I should have gone a bit thinner on the first layer rather than going as thick as I am here. It still came out really well, so I'm not too bothered. It was really nice paint to use. It went on so easily, considering I'm painting over a dark brown door with a lighter greyish colour. In an ideal world, I would have bought a new garage door, but for £17.95, and this went over multiple doors, um, it's quite a substantial saving. One good thing about this paint is that you only need the tiniest bit and it covers so well. Let me know in the comments or give this video a thumbs up if you've ever used French Eat paint. What's your experience? Just going over some of the places that need it here. Uh, one thing that I did read online is that you should leave some time in between coats for it to cure. And that's the final result. This paint is a bit addictive though, so I couldn't stop there next project and moved on to the garage windows. Same process again, sanding them all down, cleaning them all down, but this time I'll do thin coats and I'll do three layers. So I taped one and then I painted it and then I moved on to the other one, taped that one, painted that one. Hopefully the, set, the first set of windows was dry by the time I went back to them. Thanks to the coronavirus, the UK has been in lockdown for a few weeks now and I've also lost my job. So this is another thing to keep me busy whilst not being able to go out to work. Let me know in the comments if you've been doing any DIY projects during lockdown. So this was the before. It's quite an old rundown garage. There's an old lady that lived here before me, so. And then the after shot. Obviously this has got a filter on as well, but it looks a lot better, a lot more fresh. And once you pop, you can't stop. So I went on to the patio doors, again, this lovely brown colour that seems to be running everywhere in the house. And then a nice new fresh set of doors, which is nice to look back on if you're sitting out in the garden now. A couple more projects as well, these are the side doors, so the kitchen side door, and then a little door that I've never actually been able to open. <laughs> they're not perfect by any means, but they're a lot better than they were. And it saved me buying new doors, so... Thank you for watching my first 97 Projects video. Make sure you like and subscribe for some more and go to Instagram 97projectsyt for some more photos and send me your projects. Show me what you're working on. Have a good day and stay safe.